Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're gonna talk about a daily dose of Dismal Disney. Now, actually, I don't know if it's Dismal or not, but it's kind of funny. When Wizards of the Coast is facing all kinds of backlash for Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons, and Disney is facing all kinds of backlash for basically being Disney, now they've decided they're going to release a Magic the Gathering competitor, which is effectively just knocking off Magic the Gathering, but with Disney characters, right? So we're, we're going to talk about this. This is Disney Lorcana. I think it's Disney Lorcana. Uh, rules leak, according to uh, Polygon. We're going to talk about this. We're going to take a look at this. Um, Look, I'm not surprised. Disney has been getting into tabletop. They've been getting into gaming. They had the uh, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom in the parks. You actually could get collectible cards and use their uh, Magic Windows, AKA flat screen TVs you know, to interact uh, there. And there have been a lot of tabletop games based on Disney characters. I mean, for God's sake, Kingdom Hearts, right? But it's kind of funny that they're effectively knocking off Magic the Gathering, and Magic the Gathering is not in a very good state. Not a lot of people are talking about this game. Um, by the way, I was trying to find some information. This is the first time I've heard about it, and I've gone out to Twitter, and I've gone out to some of the gaming sites, and not a lot of people are really talking about it. Uh, but we're going to talk about it because... It's interesting. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, Geeky's not here, but if she was, she'd give you a woohoo. Uh, she would give you a woohoo. So yeah, this is uh, coming from Polygon. Partial Disney Lorcana rules leak new details on how the magic competitor works. Uh, brief details were mailed to subscribers of Game Trade Magazine a little early. And uh, this guy here, Mario's Gaming, Mario's Gaming 1, 1, has screen grabs of the rules. And a lot of people in the comments are saying this is basically Magic the Gathering. It's effectively Magic the Gathering, just with Disney characters. So it's kind of funny that they didn't, they didn't actually throw in with Hasbro, isn't it? I think that's kind of interesting because... You know, one, Magic the Gathering has been doing a lot of uh, IP lately. It's Hasbro-owned IP. But I mean, when you've got freaking Transformers and Magic the Gathering, you know, freaking Transformers. But also they do a lot of a lot of work uh, with Disney. You know, they, they work on Star Wars toys and Marvel toys. And it, it's kind of interesting that they are effectively going to compete with Hasbro with Wizards of the Coast directly and not just do a licensed um, set. So these are going to be, I'm assuming, they're coming out in August. And they're going to be available at, uh, you know, game shops and probably Walmart. But it is basically just Magic the Gathering with Disney characters. There we've got uh, Maui and we've got uh, Robin Hood. I can appreciate that. Collect them all. You got to collect them all. So let's go back to the article. An introduction to the rules of Disney Lorcana, the new trading card game from Ravensburger, have leaked a little early as part of Game Trade Magazine's May cover story. Uh, like all other issues of GTM, it's intended to be read by an audience of independent retailers, but the multi-page product snapshot answers a few looming questions about the highly anticipated game. Here's what we know. Uh, it's an exciting new collectible card game featuring glimmers of Disney characters who appear in both familiar and reimagined forms. Reads the beginning of the advertisement developed by Ravensburger, Disney Lorcana or Lorcana, is designed to be accessible and welcoming for newcomers to TCGs while still offering strategic depth and challenges for experienced players. According to the copy, players called Illumineers are racing to be the first to gather 20 lore. Each Illumineer begin with seven cards, each drawn from personal 60-card deck. Um, I'll skip to the, cut to the chase here. Like Land and Magic the Gathering, Inc., Ink is then used to summon creatures and to cast spells. Dicks are each composed of no more than two colors of ink and can be purchased as pre-constructed starter decks. Um, all cards have an ink cost, the ad continues, that can be paid with the ink in your inkwell and the money in your wallet. The more cards you have in your inkwell, the more powerful cards you can play and the more you can do. Buy more, buy more, buy more, buy more. Uh, it sounds like a big leak. In actuality, it's quite slim. Much of the finer points of the gameplay go unremarked upon. 
For instance, it's unclear how challenging a character impacts their ability to generate lore. The ad copy glosses over multiple types of cards as well as the rules for building decks. Well, yeah, they don't want people to know what's going on. Um, even the finer points of how ink is generated. It does mention introductory series of in-store events lasting 12 weeks as well as the fact that playmats, card sleeves, and card portfolios will all be part of the launch product lineup. Expect more on Disney Lorcana here at Polygon in the lead up to this summer's big launch at Gen Con. Of course, we're going to launch at Gen Con. Update. Update. Um, the weekly in-store event series was given the wrong name. Okay, so they're going to do in-store game events. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a Magic the Gathering guy. I talk about it uh, in regards to Hasbro being stupid. I am more of a D&D guy. I haven't touched Magic the Gathering in, my God, 20 years. Probably 20 years. It's been a long time. <laughs> I just never really got into it. I'm sorry, I'm not really into to collectible card games, whether it's this or Pokemon or whatever. Um, I just don't really care. I, I really don't care about collectible card games too much, uh, except for Triple Triad and Final Fantasy. I, I, I did like that. But yeah, for the most part, uh, I don't really play TCGs. I know they're very, very popular right now. I know a lot of people who do play Um and uh, yeah, so this is uh, interesting, interesting timing that Disney comes out with this now when Hasbro is getting all kinds of negative publicity about Magic the Gathering being overproduced, that we're talking about Magic cards getting tossed into landfills, tossed into recycling centers. And um, again, Disney's doing this through Ravensburger and not through Wizards that's owned by Hasbro and they have a working relationship with Hasbro. So I don't know what that says. I don't know if it says anything. Um, I don't know. It's just very interesting that they're doing it all kind of themselves through Ravensburger. Now we actually do have a couple of Disney board games. I'm not sure. I think Funko made the ones we have. We have a uh, jungle cruise and haunted mansion and haunted mansion is ridiculously hard to play. The rules are insane. Did you ever see that, that skit on family guy? where Peter's trying to play uh, a board game with millennials and the rules are absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that's the Haunted Mansion game. So we played it a total of one time and I'm like, yeah, this isn't very fun <laughs> in my personal opinion. But here's the website. Um, they've got a trailer up for it and um, it looks sufficiently Disney-esque. So we'll just skip around a little bit. There's Magical Mickey. And the magical castle and the, yeah, it looks kind of like it's done on the cheap here, but still. There we go, guys. Uh, Disney Magic the Gathering coming to a retailer near you. Um, kind of curious what your thoughts are. Oh, Stitch is kind of cool. Is this something you would actually buy? Um, I don't know. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We will talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.